Sunday. Welcome to Easy Eats. This Sunday we are making an apple crumble. It's beautiful. It's all I can say. Let's go. Bon appetit. The first step is we preheat the oven to 180 fan force and we let that go. And then we just make the filling of the apple crumbles. One tin of pureed apple. It's sliced, but you know what? It kind of looks pureed at this point. The next step is we're going to add half a cup of caster sugar. We add two tablespoons of lemon juice. Look, we're gonna get very professional. I have myself a tablespoon measure. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. We're just gonna mix that all through. We are gonna put the final ingredient, which is a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Oh, we've got a bit of can in there. Look, I struggled to open that can yeah. of apples. If anybody wants to donate us a can opener, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Right, now we are going to make the most important part, the crumble. Mm. We have one and a half cups of flour, just plain flour. Then we've got one cup of rolled oats. Ah. Oh my God. Doesn't matter if you get the bench a bit messy. Mum will clean it up. <laughs> Three quarters of a cup of sugar. <laughs> and then we add our final ingredient, which is 225 grams of butter. Bloop. Alex, get messy. Come on, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it. <laughs> All right, oh, now that that is looking crumbly, the next part is we are going to transfer all of this mixture straight onto our apple crumble filling. And we're good to go into the oven from 40 to 45 minutes. So we'll come back when it's ready and golden brown. It was in the oven for about 43 minutes. We're gonna serve it with our favorite Jalista vanilla bean ice cream. Yum! So we're gonna scoop in there. I can't go light on the ice cream. You gotta have that creamy goodness in there. And there you have it. Bon appetit. Hey, what do you think of it? Mm. It's beautiful. I couldn't get it any better. Oh, now go away, I wanna finish it. <laughs>